Day number three here in Connecticut. I'm going to shoot this intro for you guys pretty fast as we don't have a lot of time to fish today. I have an Amtrak train going back to Philadelphia today, five in the afternoon. And I mean, I say there's not a lot of time, right? But I mean, we're going to be fishing for maybe four or five hours out there. Ben is putting his Ranger bass, raw, bass boat in the water. Now let me tell you, it's a pretty exciting day for me because particularly, personally, I have never really fished in like a professional bass fishing boat before. I know you guys got to laugh at this, but I have fished on some boats before, but none of them were like, you know, like a professional bass angler style boat, right? So he's putting the boat in. We are here at the Connecticut River today. And I hear that this is a real tough fishery. I mean, if you guys just look at the parking lot right now, there's one car over there um, and that's about it. <laughs> there is us over here, right? So, I mean, Ben tells me that and he fishes around here. He tells me he's got some good spots over here. We can do some multi-species and try to find some fish. But the weather has been very sporadic. Yesterday getting down in the 30s, right? And today it's still a little bit cold, chilly. As you guys can see, I'm still using the northing and it is windy out here so he told me game plan for today is going to be fishing the backwaters maybe hit some coves some marinas i am going to be using the lures from that live stream that we did a while back if you guys remember the little store of the aero tackle live stream where you guys made donations and they just put things in the boxes right i got all the lures over there with me we're gonna launch the boat we got maybe four to five hours of fishing before i head to the train station and hopefully wonderful things are going to happen so let's hop on the boat man and let's get this fishing session started 9 13 a.m not bad not bad at all the boat is in the water and uh, ben is parking the car in the trailer right now let's hop in here uh, real quick all right so this is going to be our ride of the day got all the rods kind of prepped over here albeit i'm going to be using my daiwa kage there's some real cool live scope technology on this boat too i don't know if we're going to be playing with this today but there's actually this is not very cheap man and the, ah, the physics behind it is just so beautiful the technology but yeah, all right, let me get situated over here and we're gonna start rolling and going to the spots and hopefully catch some fish. Ooh, all right, we just did a little bit of a ride over here, but as you guys can see, we have reached the first spot of the day. Uh, I think we're going to be hopping spots today. I'm not sure. Everything is going to depend obviously on the fishing, right? But as you guys can see, we are here at a little back canal of the Connecticut River and the conditions over here are definitely very, very different as what you guys saw during the boat launch, right? The wind, it's still got a little bit of wind, but it's kind of a little bit more protected, water's calm and it is looking pretty clear. So you know what? Done talking in this video, man. Let's get the rod ready and pop, 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 boom! Send it to heaven, bro. All right, man, let me see what's the technology here. So this is the live scope technology, right? Yep, and we see a big fish right here. This is a big fish. Yeah, oh, I see. Dude, so these little flames over here, they're like fish. Yeah. This is All fish? Those, yep. All of these are fish. This live scope. And when you jig your stuff in front of them or throw yours in front of these little flames, you see them moving and stuff yeah. and coming together? You see them grabbing it. Gosh darn, this is the live scope technology is uh, definitely way too advanced, bro. So there's definitely some fish around here, huh? All right, let's catch them, man. That's what's up. Oh my god, bro. Oh, so what was it? Crappie. Crappie? Yeah, big one. Nice. Connecticut River crappie. Ben with the first fish of the dude. Okay. That's. 
Wow, the crap is this big, bro. This is almost as big as the ones we're... Dude, this is like size that we're getting in the marina, man. Holy smokes. How big do you think that one is? 14 and a half. 14 and a half. One and a half, two pounds? Close to two pounds, I'd say. Close to two pounds. We're looking at a quick measurement. Absolutely. Wow, that is intense, bro. 15 inch crappy first fish of the day, dude. This has got to be about one and a half, two pounds. Dude. It is, yeah, probably two pounds. Wow, that it's is great. Pretty fat, too. Pretty fat, yes. Holy moly. Oh, we didn't take a photo of it. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. There will be more, right? All right, all right. That's, that's what's up, man. It's a little bit of practice, but you get good at it. Mm -hmm. Two, three big fish right there. Yeah, I see. And okay. we need to approach them slow. You see those? Yeah, this thing is away. really like uh, playing what? a video game. Yeah. Let me see you. Real. I didn't see where my bait is on the thing. Yeah, sometimes you won't see. Oh, but you might I see, see the fish moving. Yeah, moving right towards there. it. He just, he's following. You see? Yeah, yeah, lift, I see. Lift, I see. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, he's going to be on. Lift. You see? That's a big fish, bro. He's on. He's on. He's on. Oh my goodness, dude. He's on, bro. Oh my dude, through the live scope, bro. This is this is crazy, dude. Just saw the thing. Dude, yeah, no, this is real fun. This is real fun. This is like like playing a video game, bro. This is like playing a video game, man. Wow, dude. Yeah, you can see the lure. You can see the fish. Goodness gracious, dude. That's what's up. Let's see how big how this crap it was, but. Wow, I'm learning a lot of things over here, guys. I know that footage-wise, it may be a little bit sketchy for you all, but Ben is teaching me the, the hopes of the live scope over here. And this technology, let me tell you, is insane. You can see the lure dropping in the water and the fish following up. No, that's great. That was my first fish ever, live scope style. No, no, that's, that's great, dude. All right, let me put this crappie back. First one of the day, beautiful, chunky crappie. Connecticut River went away strong. Ben is teaching me the hopes of live scope over here. How much did the system actually cost you, man? Too much. Too much. But it is definitely worth it in your opinion. Yeah, you learn a lot about the fish. And when you have a fishing brand mm -hmm. and you design lures, it's a must. You got to know how to re they react to it. You know? And another thing too, uh, this, do bass anglers use this stuff in, like, in competitions and things like that? Start to. Uh, they've been pretty slow to pick it up uh-huh uh, it started mostly with crappy anglers okay but a few bass fishermen heard about it tried it and are doing really good with it they still try to keep it kind of a secret okay but with all the sponsoring world and all that mm -hmm. the word is getting out there and do you think that one day it may be banned from competitions <laughs> Because, I mean, the technology is pretty intense, man. You can see your jig. Yep. Just like, the, and tiny you can see jig. the fish coming. Yeah, tiny, tiny jig. jig yeah. yeah, we're using the the 116 here, you know, with a little aero grub. That's intense. All right. Oh, anyways, I would love to keep talking, but let's fish, dude. Let's fish. That's of course, key. of course, Mother Nature is going to bring the wind, you know. Of course. You see that? When we most need. we we'll catch that. Try to catch that 12 feet away. 12 feet away. Yeah, see, I don't see my... Oh, wait, was that my jig? No. Jig is there. Oh, yeah, I see, I see, I see. I see, that's my jig right there. Fish on. Right there, guys. That one I saw. That one I saw. Oh, yeah, dude. That That's super cool, man. Holy smokes, bro. It's really like playing a video game, bro. This is unbelievable, bro. Yo, thank you so much for teaching me the technology here, man. Wow, dude. I saw... I saw that little flame thingy, man. I kind of located the jig. That was crazy. The, the fish just came and boom, set the hook, you know. It's a good wow, one. that is crazy. Yeah, that, that's a nice one. Check that one, Jack. Check that out, guys. Wow. And we saw this fish through the machine, you know what I'm saying? This is, oh, yo, this is technology. Wow, dude. I'm, I'm mind blown, bro. I'm so happy my physics degree now, you know. I don't know who's doing this stuff, but someone is doing some great things out there. 
Uh, I'm gonna take a shot at this one. Actually, I took a shot already of a, of a fish about the size today. If we catch a bigger one, but you guys can see how fat this fish is, yeah? Check that out, huh? Ooh, man. Jeff would be very, very happy right now. Look at that. They would look for a big one. Big ones? They don't sit on that. It's uh, funny, isn't it? The big ones, as you see, actually in the middle, on nothing. He was alone. I had only one fish in the scope. I see. Oh, one, wait, yeah, <laughs> there we go, I see. You need more clips now that you're dialed in with the... Uh... No, no, I think, uh, I think good I'm good. Enough. That one's good enough, man. Yeah, no, but okay, I, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. No, I think I'm okay with the clips. Uh, we caught a few slabs over here and uh, I think we're ready to go hunt the giants, yeah. So, wow, look at that. Look at that, huh? That's it, dude. Euro grub, bro. Gonna do a little Tim Galati unhook here, real quick. Okay, maybe Tim Galati unhook. There we go. Look at that, huh? Been playing with the live scope over here, as you guys saw. Same thing as you guys saw in that clip, right? Don't want to put it there to be too repetitive, but Ben has been teaching me pretty much. You know how do you do the little trolling? What is that called? A trolling motor? Yeah. Yeah. How to do the trolling motor over here, and how to pretty much you know change the angle so that the sonar gets to the structure, right? I mean, it's a little bit tricky in this video because there's wind, so it's tougher, but I've been getting hang of it. Yeah, I think we're ready to chase some uh, big ones. Don't want to put the hopes too up, but all right. So according to Ben, the big crappie are usually not really like in schools like that. So you guys see like this one flame right over here, single one. Yeah, kind of need to be on that all the time because of the wind right now. But when you see like one little flame just popping, yeah, like that one suspended right over there or suspended over here, that is usually like it can be a big crappie. Obviously, it could be different species. That's what we're going to be targeting right now. We're going to be pretty much going to different places here, uh, playing with the trolling motor. And when we see like one or two big flames just coming up here, yeah, there was like, like right there, you know, like Castlevania stuff, you know. That's like when we're going to try to catch him. Oh my goodness. Woo! All right, let's go. Take our time. There we go. Nice. That was on the, you saw it, this one? Yeah. Master doing it. And that's super fat too. <laughs> I kid you not. We're gonna take a shot at this one. We haven't taken a photo of Ben with a fish today yet. Dude! Yeah, look at that! Oh, yes, definitely! That's a beast, bro. A lot of people dream of catching crappies like this, man. Look at that. Wow, dude. Go on. That's the technology, bro. I'll never forget the day that I found out. <laughs> oh, man. Here. Okay, 15, 15 feet. feet. I see your bait. Yeah, I think I think I see it right here, right? That fish, that big one. So keep bringing. Oh, I don't see it now. Here it oh, right there, right there, right there. Okay, great. I'm letting it sink a little bit more. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, I see, I see. Kind of. Oh, I don't. I kind of see. Don't see it anymore. He's coming for it. Go easy. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Oh, I had the hit! Oh, save the clip. Yeah. Save that definitely. Oh, Monster yes. Fish. That that one, that one, I, I saw it kind of coming like that. Yeah, no, that was really cool, man. And that I was really it. cool. It's really big. You see all the fish in it? It's oh, big I see, okay. We don't want to lose time. Right, right. You Those are just like average yeah. crappie look, or something. Look at this fish in front of us. Yeah, I see. Big crappie. Very big. Okay, maybe I did a bad cast. Bring it up, bring it up. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Lift, lift. Wait, wait, it's following, I think. Yes. Got him. Got him. Oh, one moment, one moment. 
Oh, that's the, yeah, that's a nice crappie. That's a nice crappie. I saw it too. Whoa, dude! <laughs> we saw it on the screen too, you know, man? Little flame thingy just came up, you know? I mean, it's not bad, it's not bad. Pennsylvania, you'll be catching fish like this if you told me. Wow, look at this. Damn, I, we saw, dude, this is insane technology. I can't emphasize enough. What, like, what we're doing right here, guys, is something I never thought I would do. We are not just targeting fish in the, in the river. We are targeting a specific fish, like one fish, you know? All right, folks, we're using the Eurotaco ruler right over here. Check it out. We got a 14 incher right over here. It's like maybe about what one pound uh, more than a pound right yeah, you would say yeah, yeah. yeah all right there we go beautiful fish man thanks again to ben you know Welcome. showing me the the hopes right here dude bro all beautiful. day here on the connecticut river you know what i'm saying i mean you you really can't make this up wow went super fast too man bro <laughs> The big ones. Yeah, like this live scope game is like playing a video game, dude. Seriously, it's like playing a video game. Like I can't, I can't believe it, dude. It's like just saying the little images over here and stuff like that. I could really get used to this. I'm, a, I'm a little bit jealous. I envy a little bit the bold fisherman now. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've seen ice fishing technology. You know, the little flasher yeah. thingy. You know, and I mean sonar. You know, you see the little curves. But this, dude. You see the jig like that and the fish, you can see the fish move, you know, dude, that's intense. That's intense. No, <laughs> you think that is a crappie? I'm, I'm sure. I mean, that thing looks like a freaking ocean sunfish, bro. It does. Yeah, I mean, that thing looks massive. Maybe the pike don't look like that? No. Mm. It is a crappie. It is a crappie. Yeah. It is a crappie. Dude, there's another one there too. Okay, I think I see your lure. Now I don't see any more. Of course, this is just the angle. Oh, you got it. But it wasn't that one though. I no, saw it. It was the small one. Yeah, it was the small one behind that one. But I saw it, I saw it. You don't do that net for this one? Mm, I <laughs> We're saying in this video like, this is small one, you know? But to tell the truth, man, this is like, this is like what, 12, 12 inches? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. You know, this, Wow, this is this crazy, bro. We are looking at the things right now, you know, we'll just be like, yeah, tiny one, you know, small one. But man, for for average anglers out there, dude, they don't get to, yeah, they don't get to like, you know. Wow, this is good quality Connecticut River. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know better than me, but I... I no, it is, I think it is time to make a move too. Yes, the tide is getting low and we do not want to be stranded here in the little canal. This is a tidal part of this river. So Ben just gave the idea, you know, for us to just uh, make a move, go to the second spot, get out of the little creek area. We got some slabs and hopefully some other species are going to show up soon. No, no. I'm gonna recast. Oh, excuse me. No, don't worry about that. Oh, do you see that? That fish? <laughs> Which one was like the... The big one? This one? Yeah, there is two big ones. No, that's two. Ah. What is that? That is a crappie? Yeah, it looks big, that one. That don't, I don't think that's the same fish that we were targeting. The other one was a crappie. The, way the other was, one was a crappie. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. See that fish leaving? Mm-hmm. Sometimes the boat, the boat just shake like that little and they just zoom, huh? Oh yeah, they hear the prop of the trolling water. Oh. They are spooky. Wow, I never knew it was like like that. You know what I mean? We're going very slow. So, Whoa, what is this, dude? That could be a big crappie. 